Yo, what's going on everybody? How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a good day. Uh, I'm glad you chose to watch this video. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Hopefully you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, share it, hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button. It all helps me out tremendously. But yeah, welcome back to the channel. Um, on the way out to the shop, get some more work done on the Integra. It's now Tuesday, so we got, what, four, four days or so until the little event at the shop. So yeah, I'm just trying to get some stuff ready, bringing some stuff out. I had to go to the store for a few things, so kind of simultaneously getting ready for that and also uh, trying to work on the Integra. So last video kind of sucked. Had an issue with the starter signal wire. Still have the issue with the starter signal wire. Uh, and the customer just wants me to get it wrapped because he's coming up to look at it on Saturday. So kind of put that on hold. Kind of put, you know, getting the engine bay together and running and everything on hold. Same with the interior. I might set some things in there and kind of stage it a little bit, but I'm not going to put it back together and then uh, just concentrate on doing the wrap so he can see it. It'll look nice, but still got a lot of work left to do. Definitely not going to be all done by Saturday. Uh, but yeah, it's coming along, you know, that's, that's how cars go. So yeah, I'll pick this back up when we get to the shop and show you what we're going to do today. New C8 spotting, spotted, spotting, spotted, pretty clean. Alright, we are at the shop now. I have the spots wiped down that I need to fill. And we are going to go ahead and throw a little bit of filler on it. I won't say the other word because, well, I guess that's what it actually is. About to put some Bondo on it, but yeah, um, there's some spots around the wheel well. Where am I at? Spots over there around the wheel well that need to fit, filled. Um, and then if you come back here, there's some scrapes and scratches along here, and then little ding there or actually I think that's factory some some stuff on each side of the license plate uh, I ended up doing my own antenna delete a lot smaller a lot slimmer a lot nicer uh, I'm gonna fill a little bit around that because there's a low spot there probably from the old one where they just jammed it in and then yeah just a few little spots on this side these quarters have definitely had some work before uh, ding there ding there so as far as the body goes, I'm going to try to get it filled, let it dry, and uh, see where we're at. I didn't really film at all yesterday. Um, today I've already been working for a few hours, I haven't filmed either, so I'm just trying to get some stuff done. Not pick up the camera or worry about the camera as much because it slows me down, but I'm still trying to make videos and keep you guys in the loop as I get things done. So um, I did get the roof wrap last night. That was one panel that just didn't really need anything. I was able to just wrap it. So, so the roof is good to go. Obviously, I got to put the trims back in, but um, it turned out pretty nice. It didn't turn out the best was somebody had like messed with the original rubber gasket that goes around that and kind of like chopped it up and I don't know it's hardened up over time and it's just there was no real good edge for me to trim around here so I just basically tried to try to do my best with that but everything else on the roof turned out really nice alright never mind the trash can we got the windshield cow prepped with 220 cleaned very very well uh, sanded down and scuffed up so that the paint will actually stick and I'm going to be hitting it with some plastic paint. Um, this thing was just like, it had some overspray on it, uh, it had some weird spots in it, like that's not dirt, that's just the plastic. Um, it was just faded, super deteriorated and would not match the car so I'm going to go over it with this 
Uh, turned out really well on everything else I've painted with it, so should be perfect for this. Um, and this is a matte black, so it's not going to be like glossy. It'll kind of be just like factory. So yeah, let me go ahead and spray this. So, there you have it. A nice satiny black fresh coating on the windshield tray. Uh, the fenders are pretty much all good. I don't think I'm going to have to mess with these at all. These will pretty much be ready for wrap. Or they pretty much are ready for wrap. Um, this one is the one where I had to cut this out. Um, so I went ahead and slapped a little bit of filler in the corners and it's smooth. I'm pretty proud of that because that wasn't easy to do with the tools I have and uh, yeah, I got it pretty much exact. I actually made it a little bit slimmer this way so that it fits in there better because the light in this one's real jiggly and janky so I'm pretty stoked on that. You'll have some some matching fender lights now Alex but yeah those are pretty much ready to go uh, just gotta wrap them I did spray this inner part of it since I can't wrap that really um, I went ahead and sprayed it so when you pop the hood it doesn't look like crap um, I'll be able to wrap you know I'll wrap pretty far down probably to this bend here but this little chunk here would have been left you know crappy looking so I just sprayed a gloss black it's a little thing sometimes after these are wrapped and look all nice in the blue you would notice that inner part when you pop the hood really bad um, it would stick out so bad but then I started hitting the bumper this thing is really rough uh, I've already sanded on it for about 20-30 minutes and it's going to need some more. Um, there's just so many, like you can see where I filled in some over here, but there's just so many like, this is an actual crack, uh, like that's an actual, you know, hole there. Um, this is, you know, then it's just got a bunch of these little dig marks um, where the plastic just stuff hits it and makes marks and then, you know, once you sand on it, it gets down to the plastic and gonna have to hit that with lighter grit sandpaper to get it smooth. So you can see at one point in time, this bumper was blue. So this car's got about five different color panels on it. Brown, red, black, blue. Uh, but yeah, it's coming along. Real quick on the signs, I wanted to elaborate a little bit on these things. I made these signs out of like whiteboard material and then clear coated and painted over them on the back side and on the edges and then had Reed Graphics cut the decals that you see around the shop, you know, like my little decals, these big ones, um, had her cut them so that I could make these and they turned out great. I clear coated over them with 2K clear and I mean, look at the shine on it. They're super glossy, they looked hella nice. It really makes me mad that they didn't work out, but if we step out here, you can see where they were at and what I was trying to do. I was trying to get some signs made for the outside, and that whiteboard material uh, did not work. I thought I waterproofed it pretty well and cleared it and all that would help and they would be good for a while, but um, if you can see on the camera, right at the top after like one rain the water got in and started to mess up the top so I just pulled them down and stuck them inside so I could still basically use them somehow at least you know like so they didn't just get ruined if I'd have left them out there it would have been like a month and they would have been ruined all right so we got the new signs up Turned out pretty nice. This one's double sided, which is awesome because you can see it from both directions. Uh, I cleaned this up with weeds and I still got to go from here out, but 
like that looks a lot better with no weeds and then you come over to here and they're everywhere but yeah then we got this single-sided one over here so they turned out good there's a place in town called Sinorama that did them for me they're just vinyl over top of you know plastic but yeah big upgrade all right so the uh, landscaper just came through luckily and mowed the grass it was kind of long I was hoping he was gonna make it right before the show so it is looking pretty pretty good freshly cut now I just have to weed a little bit well a lot a bit uh, weed all this gravel since he doesn't touch that part but at least for anybody that has to park in the grass we'll have nice fresh cut grass to park in I figure we're gonna pack as many people as we can over here anybody that comes well, we got room What up? Crown Vic is a 2010 super clean Mustangs. Super clean. Those dudes are cool. Forward motion came out. James car. Ryan's cars. The dirty Ford hatches. And we got some nice SIs out here. Some nice Civics. This STI is really dope. One of 500, it's got a carbon roof, carbon wing. I guess it's a Type RA. We are out here at the car show. Check out some of these cars. So after the car show and everything yesterday, uh, pretty exhausted, pretty tired, kind of sunburnt. You can see my hat burned. Um, I've been neglecting my girlfriend's car that we've both been driving full time now. Um, so it's on like 5,000 miles on an oil change, which is fine because I always use full synthetics, but we're doing that. Uh, I just put on brand new tires the last time I did the oil, so I'm going to rotate the tires and then it also just needs clean. Um, I'll show you the wheels are disgusting, the interior has just been used and dirty from me hauling stuff in it, uh, getting ready for the show and whatnot. So wheels are just dirty, uh, not really brake dust but just dirt and road grime and then my girlfriend already kind of picked everything up out of here and got the mats out and stuff but um, just needs vacuumed and wiped out and everything on the inside just like you know how cars get <laughs> Alright, she is done. Looking fresh. I just figured I'd uh, record something a little different. We had to get her done anyway, so yeah. Me and my girl detailed her car, oil change. Tire rotation did it all. I'll show you. <laughs>